Don't put your paint on top of the ladder. Oh no. Go. Justin's car's been towed with our flea market finds in them. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are working in the living room again. We have painting, we have bookshelves moved out of the way. There's gonna be a lot happening in today's video. I actually have McKenna coming over in a little bit as well because she is going to look at my stained glass doors for me because she actually installed a bunch of doors at her house and she was like, why don't I just come over, take a look at yours and see if it's something that I think you could actually achieve on your own or if it's something I think you should hire out for. So she's gonna come over shortly, but we are going to just work on doing a little bit more more painting in here there's only one coat on all of these walls so far so I want to get a second coat up so that we can actually see what this color looks like in the room Where you up when the blinds put down you love it when nobody's around I want to call out my town but you bite my lip don't make a sound I'll be down if I'm leaving without you. Uh, what happened? <laughs> Don't put your paint on top of the ladder. Oh the no. Beds. These tiles have been here for 96 years and I just ruined them. I'm sure paint spilled on them before. No, never. True. You ruined them. No one's as clumsy. <laughs> I wanted to rip these floors out anyway. <gasps> Absolutely not. So the fireplace, as you could see, um, the texture looks pretty good, like the overall texture. However, there is still this like fine texture that you can kind of see here that isn't apparent where we stand at it. It's extremely smooth here. And I want to just try to add some of this fine texture over top because I feel like the overall like large spots of texture that we added really match up the original plastering up here. But this does have just this fine, fine texture. So I'm going to try to achieve that with some drywall orange peel texture. So let's see how that goes. And this is the product right here. It is Wall Texture by Homax. It has different adjustment levels, so you can do a fine, medium, or heavy texture. So I thought this would be a good option. Okay, shake this upside down. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's giving silly string. Giving a bird, sh a bird poop instead of texture. Is it not shucking enough? Okay, figured it out. You actually have to twist the yellow part, not just the lever on the back. I mean, I feel like that's kind of good. door that I reglazed she was like which one was it and I was like it's actually yeah, this I one tell. it's pretty good right yeah well and that looks really good now that I you called it out I'm like yeah this year's looks better but no it's really really good okay McKenna basically is here because she's a professional at putting in windows doors I, I well um, and by professional it means I've done a lot of them yes a professional so, yeah um, so I asked if I could have her professional services and have her uh, come over and just let me know if this is something that I might be able to do myself yeah. or if I should hire someone. Yeah. So we're going to take a little gander and let you guys know what we find out. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to look at how it's structured and see if... The, I think you said you needed to add some height to that, Yeah, right? so the nice thing is, is that the doors are the exact thickness as the doors that are in there, which I think is probably like one of the really important elements totally. like the thickness are the exactly the same and the width is exactly the same the only thing different is this one's like two inches shorter so i think okay. we just need to add some height to the door this is literally the best the scenario best scenario that yeah that's what i thought so too so um i guess look, look. At hinges yeah things? that's yeah Her, those are beefy those are beefy hinges so and see like, how thick that one is yeah no you, you would need and these are also like crazy doors yeah so this is like this is a heavy door yeah so i don't so, think we need hinges like no, that no, yeah no no not at all so i think if we were to just get normal hinges mm -hmm. that fit in this exact groove here exactly then, and then so you'll just put them on the door in the same spot yeah exactly that's what so I thought. that they go in we'll take this one off bring it to the hardware store and then just try to find Yes. Literally what matches this. Yep. I'm holding on to it for dear life because I just fixed it. But... <laughs> yeah, the last time didn't go that well. I know, I know. 
It's going here. Yeah, that is crazy that it's the exact it's, same height. It's the exact same width. I oh, think. height, yeah, width, yeah. A weather stripping here or here so that it kind of closes the gap so yeah. it, it doesn't have a draft and things. They make a router for that. They do? Yeah. Uh -huh. They make they make a little template that you can put on there and you dr you screw in and it gives you a guide. Oh. If you if I, I would have brought it for you from Texas. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> so I wanted the paint color to almost be like a little cooler because I want it to feel super warm when it's in yeah. when the glass is in. Yeah, this paint color is really beautiful. The old white is really yeah, really, really I like beautiful. It. I was, I was excited at first. Well, because the other one you were picking from was more yellow. Yes, huh. string. String. Yeah, it's String like, I'm gonna do that yellow. one actually in the breakfast snack. Oh, really? Yeah, with that oh, red and that burgundy the table. Red. It's gonna be very ketchup mustard, but like kind of chic. Ketchup mustard. <laughs> but kind of chic. It's appropriate for a breakfast nook. Right? Oh, it is a yeah. uh, lunch nook. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what we got for the living room. I hope that you guys can see this, but it is a humongous, very, very substantial art easel because I want to put the TV on the easel. I was going to actually do it on the fireplace when I first started kind of like renovating the living room, but then after I removed the mantle, the fireplace is just so good as is. I can't put anything on it. So we actually found this incredible art easel. Justin found it at an estate sale. It was Tony Duquette's estate sale. He's like the one that, he's like the one that basically like invented maximalism. He's like the king of maximalism. And he died 25 years ago and he passed his business and his house onto um, his assistant and his assistant put a bunch of stuff in storage. And then so it was a mixture of estate sale of his assistant and his stuff. It rolls, like I'll give you guys like a full little pan of it, but it's so pretty, the color's great. And I think it was like 160 at the estate sale, which is not too bad for like an easel this size. We finished painting this room last night and this morning. I honestly didn't film any more of it, but it is finally done. I am so excited to share with you guys like the finished like kind of sweep of the room with the color in it. I do want to get the sconces hung for this archway here, just so I could see them on top of our painted wall. I am so excited to hang those up. I have a furniture piece from Olive Atelier, which I also have a very exciting announcement for you guys um, in this video very shortly, so stay tuned. But let's Let's go ahead and get those sconces up. These are the sconces, which if you have yet to see, I got these at Old Good Things and they are from Belgium, from a castle, or I don't know if they're from a castle, I keep saying that. They just look like they're from a castle because like where else would this sconce be located? These sconces are gonna be going up here, but the only way to actually put them on the wall is to just use these two large holes that are in the top. These are also extremely heavy. So what I found at Nikki Kehoe when I was shopping a couple weeks back were these forged nails. And I thought, why not hang them up on the wall with these nails? Because I feel like if we kind of drive them downwards, it hopefully will hold them. So we're gonna give these a go. I think these were $4 a piece and I got four of them. So two for each sconce. furniture piece for the living room. I have to finish putting the drawers in it, but it is so beautiful. Look at the bottom detail. It's really long. It's seven drawers in length, two in height, so it's 14 drawers in this storage unit piece. It's so pretty. It fits perfectly right there too, right in the side. I've shared this with you guys once before. The feed and wax, look at how insane 
this works on furniture. Good morning, everyone. Look where I am. I am hosting a drop at Olive Atelier, which is so exciting. Kendall asked me if I would be willing to host a drop, and I was like, absolutely. I am so excited about this. You guys know that I love Olive Atelier, um, and if you have yet to go, I would highly, highly suggest coming to my drop because I'll be able to meet you guys in person. This is my first time doing anything like this, so I am actually going to be designing, curating, setting up this entire place. They literally cleared it out for me, and I am ready. So I'm gonna bring you guys along on the journey. You've been to me up. It's So Justin and I are literally gonna go look for tree trimmers before the drop and get all their tree trimmings and then put them in these baskets for people to style their pots. I'm Lynn Bowen. It's been a few hours since I checked in with you guys and we have a good majority of our large pieces placed throughout the atelier and I thought I'd give you a little tour of the sections. So this is Camp Lone Fox over here. We have our lovely curvy vintage Ikea chairs, Willy Gold Planter, which is like makeshift fire pit. We have some wooden railroad ties as little kind of seats as well. Some larger shelving over here for some of the pottery. These really cute little chairs that we found that are corners. So in here is where you enter through the atelier. And so right over here, I'm wanting to do kind of like an LFXOA sign. Um, kind of like a little photo moment. So if anyone comes, we could take a photo over here. I thought that would be cute. Added a tree over there. This is kind of like our dining area, dining kitchen area, but we are gonna be actually creating like a full kind of like old primitive kitchen in here. I'm gonna be doing an island. I'm really excited about that. Love. That's what I'm talking about. We're installing a door in the corner for a little fire pit area. We need some height back here, so we got this lovely jaw. Welcome to our hanging ladder. This is going to be our little pot rack above the island in the kitchen. Lots of baguettes. Paula. Oh, wow. That's a good loaf. Look at this one. Mmm, it smells good. Pasadena flea market today. This is my second time coming here. I'm meeting up with McKenna in just a bit, but I thought I'd come and check some things out since we are working on the living room. I am just looking for some decor elements because we have quite a few shelves to fill up in the living room, as you guys know. There's also some weird ticking clock thingy going metronome. off. A metronome. Look how pretty the colors are in this painting. Wow. This is a fun one. So cute with the paintbrushes in it. Don't wait for me, honey. Don't wait. Cause I'm 
face is so pretty. Look at that. I wonder if we can like merge the footage, you know? <laughs> Look who I found. It's Romeo and McKenna. <laughs> Look how incredible this candle holder is. He says it's late 1700s where this would hold the reed and then they'd light the candle and put the reed back in. I just think it's so pretty. And also this fireplace screen is so beautiful. Cute. I like this one. Look how beautiful this painting is. It is so subtle and soft. It's hard to share because the lighting's a little strange in here. It's so just, I don't know, something about it's really pretty. This vase that I just got, a studio vase, it has like people on it on the top of it. I've never seen anything like that. It's made out of ceramic. And this Aphrodite. That's Venus to Oh, sorry. Venus. Wooden Venus. Brutalist vibes. Did you find anything? Look at all these books. Oh? <laughs> How much were they? Two dollars. No way. Like one dollar? They're so good. These are yeah. so pretty. They're all like the design books. Yeah. An architect. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. She was like, so I pretty. do not want to do this. I know, we were literally with our matching cards. <laughs> oh my God, I'm at Target. A really special. That is antique. <laughs> I, it's become it's vintage. vintage. <laughs> Love bite. <laughs> How stunning this copper kettle is. It's like heavy weight too. I have been finding some good items. A couple things for my own house, a few things for the vintage drop. I'm feeling pretty good. McKenna needs this. Look, like it's a little girl box with uh, candles. Victorian. I know, it's so cool, it's a quality piece. That's pretty, ooh. What's in there? Coasters. Oh. It's a little desk lamp with stained glass. You know, it looks like the stained glass in your window. It does. It yeah. looks like it. It's so cute and small. Don't it's break this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving McKenna, but not for long because no. we're filming a podcast for later. I'm so, I'm so excited. This podcast channel with my own two hands, yes. which you're gonna have to be watching. When when you can watch and listen, it'll go up to to um, I don't know. We'll put in the date. We'll put in the date on the screen <laughs> right about here ish. Justin and I just finished up the flea market. Justin's car's been towed with our flea market finds in them. No, can't believe it. <laughs> We're in a nearly We're, empty. We just went to go drop off something. I found something for my friend at the antique when we were just at the flea market and we just drove by to drop it off. Went inside for literally 10 minutes, came outside, car's gone. Gone. But also like it's a completely empty parking it's, lot. Yeah, you guys like look, it was towed from this parking lot where there's like. Like who even called? It just like, it's so confusing. I don't know. We're at the tow place. <laughs> I need my vintage items. I would like to inform you guys that it was towed at 3.30 and we got outside at 3.31. I texted my friend at 3.31 saying it was towed. If we had not gone to the bathroom, our car wouldn't have gotten towed. The bathroom did this. My vintage items better be in here. My car's still here. Let's see. Okay, this is the one that I was most worried about. I was kind of scared. Yeah, it was unlocked. I was kind of scared about this one because it was just sitting here and I was just scared the towing people really towed it and broke it. It's been a few days since I installed the Olive Atelier warehouse. It is currently Tuesday and just a couple of days on Saturday is the drop that I am doing with them at 10 a.m. at their downtown Los Angeles warehouse space. So I will put all the information at the top of the description box below for you guys if you are curious or if you want any more info. I wanna give you an entire walkthrough of the atelier and share with you everything that we did and all of the decor that we put out and how everything is styled and just give you a look at it.
So when you walk in, this is the first view you see of the entire atelier, which looks insane. It is so massive in here. So there is quite a bit to go through, but I want to do it quickly so I can share it with you guys. Over here, I wanted to do like a little console area. We're going to be hanging up a sign right about here, which I still have to create. I haven't done that yet, um, but that's going to go there. We have some benches. And then this table here has some of my favorite stone trays. These are Indian stone trays. I love all the different colors. And I wanted this to kind of be like an I spy book where there's like a billion different trays and you can just like pick the color and shape that you liked. And then behind that is the stool section. Now these are all vintage and antique French stools. And I really wanted to showcase them on this incredible shelving unit. So we added those with some Turkish pots and some paper mache bowls in there. And then just kind of placed throughout are some of the larger pots as well. So we did little clusters of those. We have these incredible bar stools here. Um, there's a lot, you guys. And over here is the vintage Ikea little, I don't even know, camping section, I guess. It is so cute. We took a Willy Goal planter and turned it into a fire pit and then put the vintage Ikea loungers around it. I love this area. So as we move our way to the left, this is our bathroom section here and it looks so good. You guys know that one of the first things, actually the first thing I ever got from Olive Atelier was a stone sink. It looked very similar to this one right here. These are the ones available. I grabbed a bunch of the kind of scallopy wavy edges because I love those. This double sink is unreal and then a lot of vintage glass vessels stone mortars and just like little bathroomy style accessories in there this is a full dining table setup it had a complete arrangement of chairs which have all been sold uh since putting them there so we have some benches currently and then some candle holders just a bunch of really beautiful wooden accessories right over here is going to be our branch bar section so where there's going to be branches i'm gonna go foraging on friday for some branches for you guys so that we could style them in the pots and I just love that idea so much. And I also love this piece that we sourced. It is such a cool butcher block. I want someone to turn this into a vanity so badly. I think that would be beautiful. And then this is our primitive kitchen, which is one of my favorite setups that we did. And it's probably the one that I'm sharing with you guys last because we hung this ladder um, above what I am calling our island. We have this bakery rack here with all the different breadboards and paper mache bowls and confit jars. And there's just so much stuff. And the last section is just right over here. And this section honestly just kind of encompasses a lot of my favorites from Olive Atelier. I really wanted to have this area be kind of like Drew's favorites. So I have my marble bowls, um, the little wooden pedestals, pinch neck pots, these stunning, stunning marble trays that come in different colors. And these are my new favorite item, these stone candle holders. How beautiful are those and then right back at the beginning we have some more furniture pieces look how beautiful these are you guys we found these for the drop as well i'm so excited for you to come out and see all of this incredible vintage and antique decor in person shop it um hang out it's going to be a really really fun time so i will see you guys this saturday at 10 a.m i'll put any information in the description box below and it's going to be a fun time bye